So as you can see, I've made another unbelievable decision in my financial career. I've bought a second truck because one isn't enough, clearly. So the reasoning behind it was I now have pretty much no commute. I work about five minutes away from my house, so I don't really need like a motorway car, like a crew, like a proper, like the BM I've got. So I wanted something fun that I could drive around every day. So this basically was that. Uh, I found it on eBay. I got it for a really good price off of a, off of a gentleman that he retired and moved to Spain and took this with him. So this has actually been in Spain for three years. Brought it back over to sell it. Uh, something to do with Brexit. It basically making it hard to sell them over in or to register them in Spain. So yeah, it's a, as you can see, it's a 1500. GMT 400 is the name of the chassis. Silverado, and it's the K1500 with the Z71 off-road pack, which is, as far as I can tell, just like skid plates. That's about it, I think. I think it's just got skid plates under it, and that's what makes it a Z71. It's got loads of spec to it. It's got air cotton, the proper four-wheel drive transfer case, two batteries, so it's 24 volt starting. Oh yeah, it's 6.2 litre diesel, four-speed manual with the granny box in it. So it's got like a granny low first, so that, that gear is basically useless. You only really need that if you are either pulling a massive load or if you're very stuck. Um, and then you've got your transfer box down there. So you've got your high, you've got your four low, two high and your four high. And the two high and four high is, in, is switchable while you're moving, so you don't have to stop. Take the transfer box out and put it into four. You can just be rolling along and put it straight in it. It's got the blue bench. I'm glad it's got the blue interior. It actually matches the E28 as well. Full blue bench, um, original mats, which are like brand new. Even the carpet underneath is like brand new. Um, three pedals, which is weird for an American truck. It's got the 80s. Proper 80s dashboard, so this is like the early GMT 400 dashboard. It's got the tape deck, the proper aircon system. Got like your cubby behind here. It's got the slidey window in the back, so you can open that in the middle of in the middle of summer, get a nice breeze. The only thing wrong with the interior really is the Headline is sagging a bit, and some absolute friggin' mongoloid has destroyed the um, the panel around the indicators and the main beams. So the main beams now on a switch instead of being on the stalk, which is annoying. But that's about the only problem inside. Uh, outside, I think it's. It's it's rough. I mean, it's not, obviously it's an '89, so this has been here since '89, and it's got like it's basically just like the, the paint's like brushed effect. It's like stainless steel brushed. Can't really see in the video, but it's got like it's got paint peel on the bonnet, loads of dents on the bonnet. But for the most part, it's a pretty clean truck, and it's not got really any rust considering it's been in England all its life. It's got my personal favourite feature which is the step. So I so I can actually reach my engine bay. So in that so when you're done with it you just pop it away like that and it's done. It also came with that private reg which is worth a few quid. Um, as you can see, it's about the same sort of size as a Defender. It's a bit... Would you say it's wider than the Defender? That's a handbrake, isn't it? Uh, no, that was the bonnet. I pushed it in? No, I pull it. It is? Hang on. Yeah, that's the handbrake, yeah. Yeah. Was it rolling like? No. Oh. Where's the bonnet then? There. Oh, there. There we go. So that's Sorry. the bonnet. Trying to help and put the handbrake on, which might never come off now. 
Would you say it was wider than the it's wider, the Disco, yeah. the Disco, the Defender? It's I'd say wider, yeah. Yeah. And it's definitely longer because it's the long, it's a long bed. Yeah. Not much in it, but. But yeah, that's the 6.2 diesel V8. Um, it seems in pretty good nick. It's only got 70,000 miles on it, the truck. So the engine should be pretty good for for a while yet. Um, just on all the oils and filters on it, so it should be mint for a good few miles now. Uh, it's been looked after, hasn't it? I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's been looked after. So it was owned by a stately home. It was bought bought in by a stately home in Stratford upon Avon. It was just, I think it was just used to run around the, the the land of the stately home. It wasn't. It doesn't seem to have been like used on the roads, which is probably why it's not absolutely rotten. It's unbelievable for the miles. Um, and the, and considering it's been here all its life, that's the main thing. Yeah, it's got the little side exit. It's got defender rear lights, which is annoying, as you can see. Because it came in when it came in, it needed to have orange indicators. Um, so the retro fitted some defender indicators on there. Got the Budweiser mud flaps, which are absolutely mint. The, um, the wheels are called, what they're called? Not sport. They've got they've got a name. I'll put it in the thing. I'll put it on the screen. I can't remember what what they're called. But the steels with like beauty rings. So they've got this chrome ring, and then they've got this four x four hubcap, which is specific to the K fifteen hundreds. Tonneau cover, which is actually mint, really good quality. Um, it's got the two inch receiver hitch. So I can also pull, I've pulled the trailer with this, so already. Um, it was a bit underpowered really, for what it for what it is, but it does pull the trailer fine. So that was a big thing. Um, oh, I need a mirror. You need a mirror. Because that does not fly. It's like, um, it's like a circus mirror. Yeah, it makes everything all weird and wobbly. Yeah. But yeah, it's a makes me sharp. yeah, <laughs> it's a clean truck, and I absolutely love driving it. Um, still got to do. There's there's a clutch issue I'm having, so the slave, the slave or the master's basically like letting it lose in pressure. So when it's in gear, if you're riding the clutch, it'll just let itself out of the clutch. So because one of the pistons is passing. Yeah, because it's like it's letting fluid back into the, like out of the pressure, so whatever the <laughs> fuck that means. Bread. Bread. What, what you mean is, when your foot's on the clutch and you're using the hydraulic pressure to actuate the slave cylinder, yep. either the slave or master is, is leaking, leaking back, back yeah. and allowing the slave to, to come out, yeah, which means, or to go back in, which means the, which clutch, means the clutch is coming out, yeah. and then it's like, in, it's basically just in gear. Yeah. And I can't do anything about it. So I ordered the clutch and slave, the clutch slave and master off of Rock Auto about two weeks ago. And Rock Auto's usually really good, like stuff seems to come really quick. But not this time. The one time I actually need something, it's not turning up, so But yeah, FedEx. once that's done it'll drive me in. Yeah, it's FedEx. FedEx, that's yeah. FedEx, not Rock Auto. FedEx FedEx for you. But yeah, today we're gonna take them. Um, on a bit of laning, aren't we? Going over, like... Over there somewhere. Over the, over yonder. Over that way, somewhere. Um, try not to get Ben stuck. Yeah, try not to get stuck. Try not to break anything. Um, and see what it's like off-road, because I haven't really... I've had it in four-wheel, but I haven't really sort of tried it properly. To be brutally honest, you probably won't even need it in four. Probably not. Today. With what we're dry, doing. So. Yeah. It's dry, isn't it? So yeah, it'll just be nice to get it out. Yeah, put it in far and see what it does. See if it like spins tires and that. See if it doesn't snap axles and. <laughs> we're bringing it. We're bringing a one-ton strap. So if 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 either of us gets stuck, at least one one of us can pull the other one out. Yeah. Um, got, if we try, if we do anything well. stupid. Yeah, we've got but all sorts. Should be alright. But yeah, this is the new 
daily wear. The new hauler, and I love it. Let me know what you think. So far, so good. I haven't even needed to put it in four wheel drive yet, so. <laughs> Fucking yob. Truck smashed it, a bit of mud, but for the most part, no issues at all. Tom's ripped his uh, ripped his damper off. I don't know if you can see in there, but the damper's just flopping about, not doing a lot. Damper when? You don't, you need, a don't need to worry about dampening. But yeah, other than that. A bit of secondary bounce to it now. Yeah. Other than that though. Fine with that. All good. So yeah, successful first trip out with the truck. <laughs> bit of learning. Back to the unit, safe and sound. Well, apart from Tom's shock, but yeah, it did. she did well. Um, definitely happy with how it performs off road. So, but yeah, let me know what you think of the new truck. Um, I'm definitely gonna, we're definitely gonna do a bit more off roading and stuff like that with it. Um, I'll be doing a few bits to it, but nothing major. Probably wheels, maybe, and lifting a bit. That'll be about it. But yeah, I love it. What do you think of it, Tom? Yeah, it sounded it. It's more comfortable than that. Than a defender. Yeah. 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 It's a lot more comfortable. That's gonna do it for this video. Just uh, just wanted to show you the truck really because I've had it for about a month now and I haven't posted a video on it. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Check you outside.